personally. And this month and next month, you're going to get a few bookish type videos and I'm really excited about it. Um, I'm going to join in on another readathon with, um, Hannah Blackwell and Kristen Craves books. I, I found out about it through Kristen Craves books. Um, and it just, it's really, it's an awesome vibe. Like we've been getting to know our teams and things like that throughout the month so far. And it's been a blast. And if you have been with me for a good minute, I tried to do um, the, the Once Upon a Time readathon in November. And we were Team Witches. And I, I was going strong. And then my hernia happened. And, you know, you went with me for that part. So this time around, it is like Treasure Island themed and there's four teams and Hannah Blackwell, I'm going to link her video down below. Um, she has a story that she created and she went all out. Like we have merch this time. Like, look, <laughs> see? <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, and I was waiting for my shirt to come so that I could do this video. So there are four teams and hold on. I have a feeling I'm going to have to cut a lot. Anyway, so there's four teams. There's team Jin, there's team dragons, there's team merfolk, and there's team pirates. And I am on team Jin. And of course, my brain went, well, not only what am I going to put on my TBR, but how am I going to decorate back here? Because I already have a lot of like the um, ocean pirate type things that I've been getting from like my dollar store ha hauls and stuff. But I'm like, genie, like where am I going to get gin stuff? So I found this and... <laughs> Just like my real life, my wishes are going to be really tiny, <laughs> but I got a lamp to go in here somewhere. And then I found him. Isn't he cool? <laughs> so team Jim and my leaders are Kristen Craves Books. Like I said, she's the one that got me into it. And then being Daphne, they, uh, I've been getting into more of Daphne's books or her videos, her booktube videos, and she's adorable. And then this time around we have allies and our ally is team dragon. So I got to tell you a story about my dragon before I tell you who the leaders are. Um, I was like, oh, well I need to get a dragon to go with my 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 stuff that I'm going to be doing and I found a dragon on sale which is oh my god Sizu from Raya the last dragon anyway um she was on sale so I was like okay cute right she's ginormous <laughs> but we'll we'll make it work so team dragon is our ally and the leaders are or Abby Salter I'm so sorry Abby and books with a V so and I've been getting into their videos actually I've been trying to watch everyone's videos especially their um, getting into the readathon videos like they're just it everybody's really adorable and just it's been a fun experience so, our, um, I'm trying to think, hold on, where's my, my handy dandy? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did I do it? I think we're enemies. And our enemies, oh, hey, rude. 
Hold on. Okay, so our enemies, keep losing it, are merfolk and pirates, and the leaders for that is Honest Fiction and Fun Fantasy Books for the merfolk team, and the pirate team is Maggie's Books and Stuff, and Tori Between... <laughs> between the pages. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, here's the picture that I made. <laughs> ah. Anyway. So, what... How do we play, right? So, stop it. Oh. I keep touching something on my thing. And I don't know if I downloaded this picture or not but I think I did so this is what we have to hand in to Hannah after we've read a book and for every book you read um, you earn 100 points you can earn an additional 50 points if the book has a BIPOC or LG BTQIA um, author, and I found out that BIPOC is means this. Um, I I had to look it up. Like I kind of knew what it was, but it was a new term for me, so that's what it means. Uh, you can earn extra fifty points by reading a water setting, a boat, beach, island, or lake house. You can earn fifty points by reading a book that contains your own mascot which i found three so far um you can damage another team by reading a book that contains their mascot in it in doing so you can reduce their score by 50 points you cannot reduce your allies teams your allies team's points so if i think if i read I don't know. I think if I read my ally book, like a book with my ally in it, because I do have one, I think I get 50 points, but now I got to check. Um, there will be two challenges, um, the first and 15th day of the month. Each challenge you can, you will earn a hundred points. So, um, trying to think so my gin books um I don't have the physical copy of this one but I did find this gem through the chat of the discord <laughs> I got it just for the, the title <laughs> so I got that and then the other one is Spice Road. I started it this month, but the voice actor is too good and she kept putting me to sleep. And it's not because her voice was boring. It was just very soothing and the story was magical and it, she was, so I have to restart this book. I think I got just about halfway through. Um, my ally book that I picked is eight simple rules for dating a dragon because I love this series. Um, I, I'm so mad at myself that I put it on the back burner because I love Carolyn Sparks. I love her vampire series and this one is just as good. So I'm excited to read this. Um, my BIPOC ones are I'm finally going to get around to reading The Long-Legged Fly um, by James Salas that I bought in New Orleans. White Smoke. I just like the cover, so it gives me a great reason to read it. Pet. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about this, so 
I'm excited to read that. What else? Okay, and then, I don't know if this one, maybe, I don't know. But these are all by water, so love on the lake. Um, the house on the Cerulean Sea and summer people. So these two have been on my shelf for since last summer. So it gives me a perfect reason to read these. And then my books, just because I saw it, I'm, I might change this book only because I've watched the movie and I don't know if I'm really going to like it, but I kind of wanted to read it for the month of June anyway, even though the author isn't part of the LGTBQIA, if I missed a letter, plus <laughs> community. But I do know that it's about um, a teenage boy that finds out he's gay, I believe. I don't know. Yes. So... I watched the movie. I had a hard time with the movie, um, but I did. I, I heard that the book was better, and it's one of those you must read kind of thing. So that's on the list. And then these are just they came in my box, my book box last month, and they're pretty thin. So the consequence of Audrey for the hundred points, and then this is for me. So. I think I have a good TBR. I'm super stoked. All right, I think I can wrap up this video. So that is everything. I think if I, I miss anything, I will bring it up. Um, I'm gonna try and put the invite for the Discord in my video, but if not, Kristen Cray's books and Hannah Blackwell do have their, um, the links and everything that you need. Um, I think I tried to do it last time and it didn't bring you to the actual group. Um, but I'm getting better with Discord. So, and I, I've been loving meeting my team and my teammates and um, we're all, you know, taking pictures in our shirts. And <laughs> all these things. It, it's just been a lot of fun. So, if you want to join, um, Team Jim, yeah, right? <laughs> if not, you know, join whoever you want. And I can't wait to see you in the Discord conversation. And yeah, that's everything that I can think of right now. I'm sure I missed stuff and I will talk more about it in my wrap-up video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.